Um, the reason I think he has autism is because he doesn't really say much, and his dad said that it was a learning disability, so I'm pretty interested to see what it is. I think it's autism, though. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Vanellope's Corner, and today, um, I have this notebook in front of me. I kind of had to write everything down so I wouldn't forget, because I've had this planned for a couple of days now, but, um, so this video is a day late. This is my top ten fictional characters with autism video. It's the first video that I'm doing for Autism Awareness Month. It's going to be every Wednesday and Sunday hereafter until the end of the month, but <laughs> this video is a day late because of... A bunch of stuff that happened. I don't really want to get into any details, but the dog needed surgery, and I was just really stressed. There was a bunch of stuff. Seriously, though, but I really want to get into this. Um, I really, I really was, I really was kind of jazzed to do this one because this is an autism thing, and um, you guys didn't. Oh, well, I mentioned a few times off. I mentioned a few times indirectly that I do have autism, but um. A couple, but a couple of days ago, I put up a video that where I mentioned it was the first video where I mentioned directly to you guys that I do have autism, and this is why I'm doing these. This is why I'm doing these videos. I was actually talking to my mom, um, like two or three nights ago about doing like getting a tattoo, but not just any tattoo. It's I, if I do get a tattoo, it's either going to be the autism awareness ribbon or the blue puzzle piece, which is also symbolizes autism. Um, and my mom said, yeah, that if I was going to get a tattoo, that would be the one to get. So I'm going to figure out if I'm going to get a tattoo. Obviously, that's something that takes a lot of thought. If you put it on your body, it's going to be there forever. So I do have to think about it. I'm going to take some time to think about it. Like, it's not a decision where I just want to jump into it and say, well, I want a tattoo. You know, I got a henna tattoo before, but it's not like that. Because a henna tattoo comes off in, like, I think two weeks. But, you know, if you get a real tattoo, it's going to be there forever. But I really want to get into this video because I am so excited to share with you guys my top ten fictional characters with autism. So let's get started. I know this has all been in one take, but now we're going to have a cross cut. Bam! Okay, so this is my top ten fictional characters with autism list. Um, they have to be a fictional character from a show. Um, most of them are, co most of them are cartoon characters, but yeah, most of them are cartoon characters. I think... Well, well, not my own, not a couple, a couple of my honorable mentions aren't cartoon characters. This is going to be kind of like a Watch Mojo list, but kind of different, because I'm putting my own little style into it. Um, I'm really excited to get through this list, though. I've had, I've, I thought it through really well, and I have these characters right here. I had to write it down in a notebook, because I've had it planned for a few days now. So... Really excited, so let's get into this. Oh, just so there are no surprises, I'm going to be using characters from any type of, from any franchise. I'm going to be using more than one character from some franchises. I'm going to be using character, I'm going to be also using characters on top of, you know, characters that have autism. I'm going to be using characters that either I think have autism or who other people have mentioned might have autism, or who have been headcanoned as having autism. If you don't know what a headcanon is, it's basically something that somebody thinks is true, and I've seen a lot of really cool headcanons, but we're going to save that for another video when I do my top headcanons, because I am going to do a headcanon countdown and show you guys some of my favorites, because I, I really love headcanons now that I'm getting into like fandoms and stuff. I really do enjoy the headcanons, and I will specifically search for the headcanons online so that I can find them and see what they are. It's so, it's honestly so cool to get into, but right now we're doing this, so let's, uh, let's get, let's do this. Oh, 
I'm only doing characters from shows that I've seen. I have to have seen at least one episode of these shows. And yes, I've seen one episode of all of these shows, despite what some of you may think. And I recommend you check out all of these shows. I'm going to be telling you the character, I'm going to be telling you what show they're from, and I recommend you guys check out all of these shows. Okay, let's get started. Um, gonna, we're going to do this. So, okay. The first... Okay, so let's do this. Um, yeah. There was something else that I was going to say. Okay, number ten is Julia. From Sesame Street, okay? Sesame Street is like a really old show that's been around forever. And because they're so diverse, they try to add in a lot of different characters. And I found out recently, when I searched for characters with autism, Julia was the first one that popped up. So I did a little more research. And there's actually a free-to-read book on um, sesamestreet.org slash autism, or I think that's the website at least. Um, but Julia is, yeah, I checked, I checked it out. Julia's an awesome character. I saw some excerpts from the book. It really, it really explains autism perfectly in a way that, you know, kids and adults can understand. It's very cool. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna have characters, or pictures on the screen for each character. So, here's some pictures of Julia, and, as I go along, and, yeah, um, but Julia's a really cool character. I will be reading the, um, Sesame Street book, since it's free to read, and it's on the site. I'm gonna be reading it p probably next Sunday for, um, one of my autism videos, but for one of my Autism Awareness Month videos. So, yeah. Okay, moving on to number nine, Dan. Okay, I've discussed Dan versus before. I have the plushie from Dan. I have the plushie of Dan from Dan versus. You guys know he's become. I don't pick favorites, but if I was gonna pick a favorite, it would be Dan. Just between you and me. Um, but yeah. So Dan is a little complicated. You know, I think he was he. He was abused by his parents as a kid, and that's why he's the way he is in the show. I recommend you guys check out um, Dan Voices. It's a really awesome show. Really amazing plot. There's so much cool Dan Voices fan art. Can we just make this the Dan Voices show, where I just show you guys Dan Voices fan art? No, getting back to the matter at hand, though. The reason I think he has autism is because he's so obsessive when it comes to his revenge. Like, he has to get his revenge or he can't sleep. In one of the episodes, he literally says, I can't sleep till my plan works. Um, that's how I feel sometimes. I can't sleep till I do a certain thing or till I know about a certain thing. Um, and also because he's got these, you know, he's got so much issues, um, you know, I don't know if it's the abuse, it's PTSD and autism, I think, but I think it's definitely autism. There are probably more characteristics, but I can't think of them right now. Uh, okay, number eight. Oh yeah, here we go. This is awesome. This is Morty. This is my favorite character at the moment. Well, not my favorite character, but definitely my favorite show. Rick and Morty is one of the greatest shows. The show is Rick and Morty. Check it out. But the character Morty Smith, I feel like he definitely has autism. It's mentioned in the first episode that he has some kind of learning disability. And he seems really smart when he's asked questions. Um... The thing is, you know, he's also he's also very socially awkward, which is one of the things I find about being, you know, oh, same with Dan. He has a lot of like he he's very socially awkward and he, he has a lot of trouble socially and, you know, he only has a couple of friends and it's the same thing with Morty. So, they're both kind of the same in that way. And I, it seems to me that Morty definitely has some of the signs of autism. Like I said, not every character on this list is absolutely going to have autism. But some of them I just think have autism, or other people think have autism, or they've been headcanoned as having autism. Uh, okay. On to number seven, Mod Pie. If you don't know who Mod Pie is, then 
Where have you been? So, I just saw the second episode in the My Little Pony series with Mod Pie. Obviously, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is a show that everyone knows. And if you don't know of it, then have you been living under a rock? But seriously, Mod Pie is headcanoned with Rainbow Dash as having autism, specifically Asperger's, and her special interest is rocks, and Pinkie Pie encourages her to talk about it, to talk about rocks all the time because she knows how important a special interest is to autistic ponies. So there you go. It's pretty interesting, right? Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, yeah. But, but she's not number one. Number six, Butters. Okay, this is a character we all know and love. I think we can all agree that Butters is really socially awkward. He's been sheltered by his parents, um, abused in a way, abused by people that are supposed to be his friends, and, well, you know, I don't know, he just seems like, it just seems to me that he has autism. He has some of the signs, but... I'm not exactly. I'm not entirely sure, as I said. I'm not really sure about any of the characters on this list. Unless the creators have themselves confirmed that the character has autism. It's just interesting to me how many people think Butters actually has autism. Well, I think he does too. And that's all I have to say about that. Okay, number five is another South Park character, Stan Marsh. Now, this character has been confirmed to have autism. There were two episodes regarding it. Asperger's and... Shoot, I don't remember the name of the other episode. If I do, I'll put it in here. If I don't, then... Bleh. <laughs> but, yeah. He's pretty much been confirmed as having Asperger's, so... I don't really have much more to say about that. Number four. This one is a show that not many people know about, and the mysterious Mr. Enter actually introduced it. Actually introduced me to it. Now, since it has such a small fan base and such a tiny number of episodes, it was really hard to find artwork for it, but I managed to find a couple pictures of Brian, and the show is called Stressed Eric. If you want to see the show, go watch it. It's awesome. I'm, you know, it's kind of more dark humor, so if you're not into that type of stuff, like, if you're not into Family Guy or whatever, you probably won't like it. But, you know, it's, I think it's pretty cool, and it's actually pretty funny, you know, on, like, your most stressful days to see someone who's more stressed out than you are. You're like, well, you know, I'm stressed out, but at least I'm not this guy. <laughs> But Eric is a single father raising two kids, and one of the kids can't speak. And he also has some sort of learning disability, so I'm thinking autism. Also, he seems to have pica as he will put anything and everything in his mouth, specifically things that are not food. <sighs> Well, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Number three, Tina Belcher. Bob's Burgers. I really love that show, actually. I've only seen a few episodes of it, but from what I remember, they were really awesome. And I really enjoy the show. I, I don't really watch that many episodes of it, but when I do, they're always good for a laugh. And some pretty cool family drama. You know, with Bob and his kids and his wife, and it's pretty interesting, honestly. But Tina Belcher just seems to me one of those characters that has autism. Uh, there's not really much more to say, except... Yeah. Number two, Lisa Simpson. Well, she's smart. The smartest Simpson, clearly. <laughs> well, unless you count Maggie. But, you know, she just seems smarter than her whole family. She seems very different, and she has a lot of trouble making friends and being in social situations, which is why I think she has autism, perhaps Asperger's, but, you know, I don't really know for sure. <sighs> the thing is, you know, maybe she has autism, I don't know. 
Uh, like I said, I don't really know for sure, but uh, I found a site where there were a bunch of posts about cartoon characters that had autism, and I'm just listing some of the stuff that came up. Like I said, any character that might have autism can go on the list. Before I tell you guys my number one, I want to tell you about a few honorable mentions. Sheldon Cooper. You guys probably know this guy. Oh, yeah, in case you don't know what The Simpsons is. The show is The Simpsons. But anyway, Sheldon Cooper. The only reason he's not number one is because he is because I found, is because I looked up whether or not he has Asperger's, and the creator, Jim Parsons, specifically says that he doesn't have Asperger's syndrome, or any kind of autism, so I'm a little confused. I looked up conditions that are similar to autism, and a few things came up. I'm not exactly sure what he has, but it's not Asperger's. But... He still has a lot of Asperger-like qualities, which is why he gets an honorable mention. Not to mention, he's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Dr. House. It was a long time ago that I w watched the Dr. House series, but when someone mentioned it on the... But when someone mentioned it on that thread that I found, the fictional characters that have autism, I was just like, oh, you know, I could see that. So... He goes on the list. Twilight Sparkle. Well, yeah. She's smart, and she doesn't have that many friends. She kind of obsesses over things. She seems to have OCD, which a lot of people with autism have OCD-like qualities. I know I do. But, yeah. She's... I don't know, she seems to have autism. I don't really think there's much else to say. Max. From Max and Ruby. Ugh, I love that show. I used to watch it when I was a kid, and I really enjoyed it. I'm sure that I would still enjoy it to this day as an adult. Maybe I should look up some of the episodes, but... Max is four years old. He should be speaking a lot more words than he knows. But he doesn't really speak that many words. And he's always following along his big sister, which, you know, isn't uncommon for a little brother, but, you know, I don't know, it just seems like he has that autism-like quality. And especially the speaking part, he doesn't say that much. So, I'm branding him with autism. And number one, Rainbow Dash. Yup, you heard me. Rainbow Dash has autism. I first saw this YouTube video about the fact that Rainbow Dash has a learning disability and maybe she special needs. I'm not exactly sure what it was called, and I think it might be hard for you to find on YouTube if you went to look it up. But Rainbow Dash does have a learning disability, it seems, from the video. You know, she learned, well, not a learning disability, but she learns her own special way. And... It's kind of interesting, to be honest, and if you look, and if you check out this headcanon boom, then you'll see that she's been headcanon along Mod Pie as having autism, and, you know, it mainly manifests in her social skills. Maybe that's why she has such a hard time embracing her element. I saw this video on YouTube that from the same people as the, pe from the same people who did the Rainbow Dash's special needs video, and it was like Rainbow Dash doesn't deserve her element or something. But she does. She just has a really hard time embracing it. She acts like a jerk sometimes, but, you know, maybe that's just because she has autism. And she was so obsessed over this book that she almost sold Fluttershy away, her best friend. But... Later, the problem was resolved, and she was so happy to just have her best friend back in her life. I mean, you know, going that far over an obsession, it seems like autism to me. I don't know. Tell me if you think anything on this list was wrong. Tell me which fictional character you think has autism, and which fictional characters do you enjoy watching. Alright, well, that's it for now. 
So all I have left to say is happy Autism Awareness Month. And my usual sign off, I love you guys. Please don't forget to always be yourself. Then I'll be signing out. I know this video was a little bit long, but yeah. Happy Autism Awareness Month. See you guys.